What's up guys, Power Bang here, and I recently have uploaded a video to YouTube titled the HGHB Strategy Guide, brought that out to you guys, and it has taken the war community and Clash in general by storm at the Town Hall 9 level. Now what that is, we're going to highlight it here, basically bringing 10 to 12 giants followed up by healers to keep them alive, and just sending them at the base pretty much so they don't get targeted by air defenses, uh, the, the healers behind them don't get targeted by the air defense too soon in the raid, um, but basically he sends them here into a level 27 king level 30 queen uh, so no fear at all in uh you know having his troops die but basically bring wizards and in this case a uh, baby dragon to help with the funneling process but the goal is to get the heroes and the bowlers out of the clan castle max level cc bowlers into the base and watch all of the defenses there as they are preoccupied with this kill squad. Notice the cannons here. Notice the expo. Notice the archer tower. Notice the mortar, the wizard tower. This archer tower, the Tesla, all that stuff. Nothing is shooting anything but the kill squad. So he's able to sneak in some hog riders from the right side. They work their way down the side. Nothing's shooting them. I mean, how awesome is this? So he basically gets all of these defenses taken out. I mean, HGHB... Uh, just incredible value that he's able to bring uh, just from a few troops. But even on the back side, the king uh, is distracting the mortar, the archer tower, the wizard tower. He drops a heal spell here, not even needed because it's done. It's over. He's wrecked this base. Duke of Todding. Holy crap, man. HGHB, guys. Healers, giants, hogs, bowlers. It is flat overpowered. I don't care what anybody says. All of the people that uh, watched that previous video, and there's uh, approaching 100,000 people now. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it in the description. Try to put some on the screen right now. Crazy powerful. And even people with level 5 heroes are saying they're taking out, like, max bases. So, granted, there's been a few of you also that have uh, said you've had some trouble, uh, being that you have low-level heroes, like level 10 heroes or something. Um, so I wanted to kind of modify this strategy a little bit today and bring you guys a low-level hero attack where we modify the HGHB strategy and maybe give you guys a little leg up on the competition. So how we'll demonstrate that today is Sir Eddie actually has, uh, we're going to call it the G, no, not the GHB because that's, that's bad. A lot of people uh, complained um, about GHB. Um, Google it if you don't know what that is. But anyways, we're going to move the letters around. Hit the microphone for a second. We'll call it HG, HGB strategy, and uh, that's more politically correct. So anyways, HGB, Hogs, Giants, Bowlers, Town Hall 9 strategy. It's epic. Go to number 26 here. Watch Sir Eddie taking on Sen. The cool thing is, guys, let's pause it here and check the army composition. First, we'll look at the base. Pretty high-level Town Hall 9 base here. Mostly lava walls, which is uh, pretty hard to get through for the most part, you know, if you're not bringing wall breakers, which he doesn't. And then other than that, max level uh, um, archer towers, um, the expos are a little bit lower level, uh, but he's got mid-level heroes in the mid-20s, and, uh, you know, I, I, I think that, uh, you know, it's a pretty pretty decently challenging base for a town, town hall 9 with level 10 heroes. So let's see how Sir Eddie handles it. 18 giants, 16 hogs, 12 wizards make up the primary component. Again, guys, two heals, two rages. Uh, that has not changed. But basically, guys, 18 Giants and 16 Hawks, it's a lot more camp space. Where is he getting it from? Well, we've dropped one of those H's, if you check above, from the uh, strategy title. That H happened to be for the healers. Now, that is a lot of extra camp space, man. 14 a pop. So if you've dropped four healers out of the uh, army composition, you're picking up 56 camp space there. So he's able to bring several more Giants, several more Hogs, and even a couple more Wizards to make up for the camp space that he gains. So... 18 Giants will now uh, be able to penetrate this base. Yeah, so there comes the Giants, all of them except for one. Ah, oh, there's the last guy. So he heads in, and instead of having the healers on him, he just tanks the damage. There's so many more Giants there that he can actually afford to lose a few of them to, say, Spring Traps. He can afford to uh, lose a couple of them, you know, to point defense. But he's got to make sure that he keeps everything up with spells now. They become a little bit more valuable since you don't have those healers. Now, you can see that he's losing a couple giants here. He does lose the first one. Uh, but he drops the rage spell to help them through the wall. Bowlers take a little bit of damage here. He does lose one bowler. Now, the bowlers start to head to the center of the base, and they get into the heal spell here. Now, he's got giants and a heal, 
Bowler's in a heel. And notice those level 10 heroes in the middle of the base marching their way through, being completely protected by this kill squad. And the one thing that he did a little bit differently in this base, I'm going to pause it real quick. He's over there taking out those higher level uh, heroes on the enemy side. Um, he sends the hogs from the area that is not being tanked by his kill squad. If I were him, I would have hogged from the other side, uh, the northeast side rather than the southwest. But, you know, having the extra hogs in the army, he's able to actually send in three per defense uh, to help, you know, take everything out. He sends four to the archer tower down there, and they kind of just roll their way through the base. He loses a couple, unfortunately, to spring traps, and that is going to stop him just short of taking out the Tesla. But he drops the heal spell there for the remainder of his hogs. They march their way through the final defense. But look at that. Up top, he's got the queen still alive. He's got bowlers still alive. The, the wizard's already working the edge of the trash ring. And he's got a level 23 king he's beating on. So check this out. He makes it through the wall. Still has giants left over. Like six or seven giants left. And he's going to go ahead and finally use that queen ability. And the bowlers and the queen are going to go ahead and lock onto the king. And the remaining hogs finally make it over. There's five of them. Finally making it over to the Tesla. And uh, he does lose one hog rider on that giant bomb at the town hall. But they finish up there. He's got a ton of troops left, guys. He's got nine wizards left over. He's got the uh, bowlers left over. Six giants or so and four hog riders. So completely smashing this base, Sir Eddie did. And he didn't bring any healers, guys. He took out a fairly decent level uh, Town Hall 9 base with level 10 heroes using the HGB strategy, guys. So definitely consider it. Um, some modifications were made to the HGHB strategy, and it still works just as good, guys. It's a very flexible strategy, and both in this one and HGHB, all you have to do is be dynamic, be flexible, and be reactive. Find out where your troops need uh, you know, to be de deployed based off of what defenses are, you know, firing at. And if they're firing at your kill squad, send in the hog riders. Now, even though uh, that's how I recommend doing it, Sir Eddie uh, actually came and took the defenses head on and still ended up successful. That's how strong this strategy is. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode today. Uh, might give you a little bit of a more unique take on taking out an anti-three-star base using a lot of giants and a lot of hog riders, even with the low-level heroes. So hopefully you guys liked it. Hit that like button if you did, and I will be back with you very soon with some more high-level Clash content. This is Power Bang, and I'm signing off until next time, guys. Take care.